Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale this Ninja coffee bar, model number CF082. So if your clean light comes on, that means it's time to descale. This machine has a descaling mode you need to put it in in order to get that descale light to go off. Now they did put this nice sticker on the back to walk you through how to get how to put it in descale mode and what to use. Ninja does sell some descaling agent, but they also allow you to use distilled white vinegar. So I bought this at Walmart for $1.50. It's 64 fluid ounces. We're not going to be using all of it, but it's really, really cheap to buy. First thing, make sure we don't need the coffee filter in. No coffee grounds, nothing there. Make sure the drip is, in, is open. We're going to empty the reservoir and make sure our coffee pot is fully empty. Okay, with the reservoir empty, we're going to fill it up to the travel mug line with pure white vinegar. Right there. Now I'm going to take this over to the sink and fill it to the max line with fresh water. Okay, I've got my vinegar and my water in there. I'm going to put the reservoir back on. I'm going to turn this switch all the way to the full. I'm going to hit the clean button. This is actually a button. It's also a light. Now it's going to start a countdown from 60 minutes. This takes approximately, approximately 60 minutes to complete. It's going to run some of that vinegar and water through the machine and stop. It's going to start and stop. What that's going to do is that's going to descale the inside of that heating element. So you'll be able to tell the progress. It's going to beep at you when it's done to let you know. But at least you, after 60 minutes, you know that it's going to be done. So the machine may be sitting here. Like right now, it's doing something. But you may walk by it and it's not doing anything. That's okay. It's just letting the vinegar soak, which is another important step of descaling. And that's really nice that this machine does that for you. It times it for you. So it's going to turn it on and off, on and off for 60, for 60 minutes. And it's going to run all of that water and vinegar through. Now vinegar does kind of smell, so you may notice a little bit of a vinegar smell to it. Once this is done, we're going to have to do a, a couple of fresh water. We're going to rinse this out with soap and water. Same with this and this. And then we're going to fill this up with just fresh water and run two to three pots of water through it. Just to kind of clean out the vinegar, because right now we're getting some pretty strong vinegar inside the machine. So you can see now the machine is stopping. And don't ever, yeah, leave this on open all the time. Don't ever move it to drip stop. And it might, it's just going to sit here for a little bit. It's going to let that vinegar and water soak inside that heating element. Okay, so I'm going to wait for another hour and we'll come back to it and we'll see how it's done. Okay, so it's been an hour. The clean light turns off, letting you know that you're out of descaling mode. This is full of water and vinegar. I'm going to rinse this down the sink, wash this out with soap and water. I'm going to wash this out with soap and water, and I'm going to wash this out with soap and water to kind of get what the leftover vinegar and water that's left in there. Okay, I've got everything cleaned up. I've got fresh water put in here. Now I'm just going to do a full pot on a classic brew. Make sure this is empty. Again, no filter or anything in here. Just hit the classic brew. We're going to need to do this three times, two to three times, to get all of that vinegar smell and taste out of your coffee maker. And each pot takes approximately about 10 to 15 minutes. So after that hour, you got to give yourself about another half hour, 40 minutes to kind of finish the job. Check out my other videos on this. I show you how to set the clock, how to set the delay brew. I show you how to fix specialty drinks. I can do a detailed review on it. And I show you how to fix coffee over ice. Thanks everybody for your support, and if you could, please like and subscribe.